this lesson we will shed light on the reasons why the sustainable development is a key challenge for our society and economy. A challenge that has a concrete influence on our lives of tomorrow and that depends on present decisions. We will introduce the three core elements of sustainable development, then for each core element we will see the impact of present decisions on our future. But why sustainable development is now so important for us and all the people and businesses on the earth? We can answer this question by introducing the pillars of sustainable development. In simple terms, uh, the entire concept of sustainable development means that we can be sustainable only if we address some important issues involving the economic, environmental and social fields. For example, making sure that people are healthy and have good jobs and that we do not waste our precious natural resources. Since the 2005 World Summit on Social Development, we recognize the three core areas or pillars that contribute to sustainable development. The three pillars are economic development, social development and environmental protection. To understand each element, we have to bear in mind that the Brundtland Commission defined the sustainable development as the development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of the future generation to meet their own needs. According to the definition, we must consider the future impacts in making our decisions about the present. So, let's try to understand the meaning of each of the three ingredients of sustainable development. The first ingredient of sustainable development is economic development. This is a relevant issue also because most people disagree on political ideology that is not economically sound, as it will affect businesses and, by extension, jobs and employability. Also, economic development is about providing incentives for businesses and other organizations to adhere to sustainable development guidelines beyond the normal legislative requirements. It is about encouraging and fostering incentives for the average person to do their bit where and when they can. Even if one person can rarely achieve much, but taken as a group, effects in some areas can be cumulative and impressive. The economic development is conditioned by the supply and demand market that is consumerist in nature. The modern life requires many sources every single day and sometimes we do not think about the environment when we make use of all the resources. Nonetheless, for the sake of the environment, getting what we consume under control is the paramount issue and it is a key challenge for sustainable development. In other words, today the challenge of economic development is about taking decisions that give people what they do want without compromising the quality of life, particularly in the developing world, and reducing the financial burden. The second dimension of sustainable development is a social development. Social development has many features. The most important one is awareness of, and the legislation protection of, the health of people from dangerous activities of business and other organizations, particularly to contrast pollution, to cite the most important one. In the developed world, particularly North America and Europe, there is a strong presence of checks and programs of legislation to ensure protection to people's health and wellness. Social development involves the need to maintain access to basic resources without compromising the quality of life. Do you know what is the key challenge of social development now? Well, First of all, it is linked with sustainable housing and, as a consequence, with better ways of building the homes we live in from sustainable material. The final element of social development is education. Central to the success of social development is people participation. To the aim, we need to encourage people to participate in sustainable development and teach them about the effects of the development on the environment, as well as warning of the dangers if we cannot achieve our social development goals. As a third point of sustainable development, we have the environmental protection. 
In your opinion, how many things we can do daily to protect the environment? As people, there are many opportunities from recycling to reducing our power consumption by switching electronic devices off rather than using standby and to walking short journeys instead of taking the bus or the car. Businesses are regulated to prevent pollution and they have to keep their carbon emission low. To that end, there are incentives for installing renewable power sources in our homes and businesses. Environmental protection is at the third pillar of sustainable development and, to many, the primary concern of the future of humanity. It explains how we have to study and protect ecosystems, air quality, integrity and sustainability of our resources and focusing on all the elements that place stress on the environment. Environmental protection is also about how technology will drive our future. The Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, recognizes that developing technology is key to this and also focus on the need to protect the environment of the future from possible damage that technological advances could potentially bring. So, going back to our first question, why sustainable development is a key challenge for the economy and society? We can answer that it is because sustainable development has its foundations on three pillars – economic development, social development and environmental protection. When acting on one pillar, we produce effects on the others. Today, our key challenge as people and businesses is to act within the economy and society, protecting the environment and preserving the future of humanity.